I just wanted to do a quick video on anchor swivels and uh, the Ultra Flip Swivel in particular, which is the one that, that we use. I did show this uh, on the Witch Anchor video when we fitted our, our Ultra Anchor, uh, but we're focusing really on the, uh, the anchor there. And I get lots of comments about swivels, uh, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions about them, so I thought I'd do a, uh, just a, a dedicated review of, of this one. So, first of all, then, why, why have a swivel? What's, you know, what's the point of it? Well, when you anchor in a position, especially if there's a lot of wind shift going on or tide shifts and you're there for a period of time, you can get twists in your anchor chain and it's a pain to get them out. And while they're there, what will happen is that while you're bringing the anchor chain up, it'll skip over the gypsy because it's not straight anymore, there's twists in it. And that really damages your gypsy. It's, a, you know, it's not something you want to happen. Uh, the second problem is, is that Sod's Law means that when you bring the anchor up, quite often it'll be back to front and you've got to be trying to pull it around with boat hooks or however way to try and straighten it to get over and that could be more of a, a safety problem than you think because sometimes you know you need to get out of an anchorage quickly or it's you know you're just congested especially here in, in the med uh, you can't be messing around shorthanded sometimes when there's lots of boats around you and you end up moving with the anchor not fully on which you know can end up with you banging your gel coat or, or trying to bring it up when it's not completely straight which can damage your roller quite easily so yeah it can be more of a, a problem than you think so the ultra flip swivel, the flip part is this, it will flip it round every time and make sure that it loads straight. So uh, with the ultra swivel, that's uh, you know, a really good plus point is that you know, that's what it does. They don't all do that, but, but at least a swivel will mean that you know, it makes it easier for you to pull around straight. But you know, this automatically does, does the job. It's this little nub in there and this bit, which they call the bridge between the two, that's doing two things. It's just strengthening up the, this part of the, of the uh, swivel, making sure that uh, when this comes up, the, the nub flips it round and it always comes up the right way around. So is this strong enough? That's, that's, the, that's the question. Well, it has got printed on it. It's breaking loads. So for this, it says 160,900 kilonewtons or 36,200 pound feet. Well, that comes out to 16.1 tons. So that's 16.1 imperial tons, which is about 15 metric tons. So that's stronger than any chain that you're liable to have. So that's the advantages. So why aren't all sailors fitting uh, swivels to their anchors rather than having shackles? Well, I think that's mainly because of the old philosophy that uh, the most seaman-like way uh, to have your anchor connected was with a shackle because there's less to go wrong, it's stronger, whatever. They, those were the reasons giving and those reasons just aren't true anymore. Uh, and I bought them themselves. I must admit, when we bought uh, Fair Isle four years ago, it came with uh, this swivel on it, which is you know, fairly similar to the, uh, the Ultra swivel. You can see it's not constructed as well, but I've got no idea. It's not printed on here what the braking loads of this are. I'm sure it was the best available at the time. The guy that owned Fair Isle only put the best equipment on it. Um, but it's not to, to modern standards, this. It's, uh, I don't know what sort of stainless they were using. There's been you know, real advances in that. Um, and you can see the weakest point in, in any swivel or anything really is, is the part that's going through the chain because you know and that has to be as big as possible to go through the chain. And you can see, you know, this has a standard pin that goes through. Uh, you know, it's probably pretty good. You can lock tie it in there. There's there's no way of that that backing out. But it is a round pin. You'll see in the uh, one that they have now in the ultra swivel to make it as big as possible to fill that gap completely something that's impossible to do with a shackle they've made it oval so it only fits in one way round where you should, should put it in the right way round it, it has a hexagonal bit at the end there uh, which fits in so you put it through so that the long way is going down and you'll see the size to the chain that you want you'll buy the one that's you know this is for 10 mil it's my old chain here uh, you know, it'll go through and, and fill that gap completely. You're getting as much metal through there as you possibly can. It can't go through the other way. It's too big. So I couldn't have a round pin that, 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 that's that big. Um, so they very cleverly just, just made that as big and therefore as strong as, you, as it possibly can be to, to do the job. The other advantage is if you, look, if you look at them both side by side is that the Ultra Swivel is now made out of machined uh, stainless steel. It's not cast, so there's there's no way that it can have voids in it, any weak points in it. Uh, it's all it's all machined. I don't know how they do it, but they've you know machined 
the whole body and then this and, and got one inside the other. <laughs> it's magic, I don't know how they've done that. Um, but, you know, incredibly strong uh, and it's, it's rounded, all the corners are, are rounded on it, can't catch on anything. Um, and the, the biggest problem that you know most people cite with a, a swivel is the fact that you know you might have prizing loads on it if you're pulling to one side that's mitigated to a certain extent by having the the uh, articulating swivel here so if we look on the ultra not only has it got that but it's also got you know a very strong with an enormous pin between the two holding this and the bridge across it so you know it's, in, it's incredibly strong uh, for any prizing load any sideways load that you know that it might get so you know, they've tried to to deal with that i mean there are i'm only looking at the ultra here i'm sure there are other modern swivels the mantis swivel uh, does a similar thing it can articulate right round to not get prizing loads but that comes in several parts so you know you might be might have its own problems but this you know this swivel i think is uh, it's just ultra strong uh, so there's no reason to think okay i can't have the benefits of a swivel because it's not seeming like enough and you, you know to do it right you should have a shackle i just don't think that's right even if you do you know the job right with the right size shackle uh, fitted the right, right way round which obviously has to be this way round this one this one couldn't do it because it's got a, a hole in it not a slot so if you have an anchor with a slot and you want a shackle, not a swivel, then fit it this way round, not this way, as a prizing load could compromise the shackle. But for the reasons stated, I don't think there's any need now to stick to shackles. So that's my reasoning. I've already got one on the Ultra. I've now, because I was so impressed with it, we've had it for almost a year now, I'm going to, uh, I've bought another one and this is going to be fitted to the second anchor. We have, you know, two anchors on the bow of Fair Isle. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to fit this one on now and all good to go. Fitting is a piece of cake. Big pin slots in, it's round, so it goes any way around. Put plenty of the supplied red Loctite on the retaining screw and do it up tight. Same thing with the chain end, but remember to get it the right way around. My primary anchor is an Ultra with the flip swivel and a Chromox stainless steel chain, so all stainless steel, no problem. This is my second anchor, a bugle, which is galvanised. There's no problem having the stainless steel swivel on this. The galvanised anchor, being the less noble metal, might lose a bit of zinc, but it's such a large mass of metal compared with the swivel, it's a negligible loss. If I had a galvanised chain, however, the last link or two of the chain may suffer a slight loss of zinc. So if they start to look rusty in a couple of years, just cut them off and attach to a good link. So that's it, all done. I'll just pull it up by hand on the windlass and the anchor flips straight into place. We've now got the Ultra anchor and swivel and the old bugle with its new swivel as backup, ready for cruising. As well as the episodes of Sailing Fair Isle, there's lots of tech videos. You can check them out on the link here. If this video has helped you out, please help us out and subscribe.